Well, 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 take a look at this. So what's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. We are back here at our farmhouse. You guys know in our last episode we customized the entire interior of this thing. Well, now we're going to be moving outside. And I went through, I cut all the grass, I pulled all the weeds, I even laid some new sod in some of the bare patches. There's still a little bit that we haven't messed with, but I think we're going to be planting a pretty big garden out here, so I, I honestly don't think it matters. I think all this is going to be covered with dirt and sand and stuff anyway. So this should be a good episode. I'm looking forward to it. We're just going to go for like a big garden. Like that's kind of the theme we're going for. Uh, we've got the most real estate over here on the right side of the house. So we're going to see what we can put together. Now, I do have some bad news, all right? So um, this DLC just came out. It's got a few issues. It's got a few problems. Yesterday, I spent an hour and a half redecorating the inside of this home, and it didn't save. So you guys may have noticed that there. Uh, if we go inside, you guys are going to see it literally is back to originally how it was. It even the outside reset too. The only thing there was was the uh, the paneling on the second story of the house. So like these areas up here was still there. And then we did have some little panel markings in the ground where we had laid panels down before. But that's all that's saved. So you guys can see, I didn't even put the paneling back on the outside of the house. It takes so long, it's just so tedious. So I went through and I, I just painted it white. I wanted it to, to kind of look okay in the background, you know what I mean? Uh, I didn't want it to be just kind of like a big, ugly, unfinished, unpainted house. But uh, I, I, I don't think I can go through and do everything we did. I mean, we, we completely gutted this place, tore down all the walls and everything. But at least if it's like this and we look at it this way, it, it looks kind of halfway done. Not really. We actually, hold on a second. We need some, some white paint. We need something on the, the corners of these doorways. But yeah, I was, I was kind of upset about that. So I, I recorded that episode yesterday and then I was going to record this one today. And obviously it didn't save. So I think from here on out, I'll just have to record two episodes in one and make sure I don't rely on that uh, that saving feature. Hopefully they get it fixed soon though. But um, anyway, we're just, we're gonna have to go for it. All that hard work for nothing. Unfortunately now when we go to sell the house, they're not gonna care. Like it, it's it's not gonna count. Like the, the inside is gonna be boring and, and they're not gonna be happy with it, but it's all right. We're still gonna enter our garden into the, the contest and. We'll see how we can do. So um, this area, I'm just imagining rows and rows of plants and stuff. So let's see what we have going on here. I'm gonna come in here, we're gonna go to plants. I don't know if we should go for like usable plants, like crops that we can actually actually use, or if we should go for style and kind of like do rows of color, or we could do a mix of both. I mean, some, some of these are, are pretty pretty, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, I, I feel like it would be cool Shoot, dude, there are so many options. It would be cool to plant like a bunch of raspberries and pumpkins all in a line. Zucchini, cucumber, or cl a climber. I thought that said cucumber for a second. We've got, ooh, see like a row of sunflowers? Dude, I've got to do it. But we got to figure out what's going on the bottom first. So unfortunately, I don't think you can lay dirt. We're going to go here. We're going to go to uh, garden. We're going to go to surfaces. You can lay wood cutting, sand, colored gravel, two colored gravel bark and that's pretty much it i'm feeling like bark or the colored gravel is gonna look like dirt so let's see if we did a line of this or if we did oh oh you can brown it up okay so we can try a line of brown i mean that that looks like dirt kind of or we can go back we can go with our colored gravel we're gonna go smallest and we're gonna go with white Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the darker version of the bark. There's an orange, yellow, red. Yeah, not gonna want that. Okay, wait. Yeah, that's what we did before. It looks a little bit different now. Okay, so honestly, I'm just gonna set up rows and rows and lines and lines of this. We're gonna get this entire area and, and just kind of set it all up with some, some bark. I'm gonna pretend it's dirt. I'm really hoping our investment in this actually gets recouped, so. In the interior stuff, pretty much if you buy something, you're going to get your money back plus more on it. I, I, I haven't really messed around with the outdoor stuff yet. Obviously, this DLC is brand new, so I'm, I'm not sure how that goes. Because, I mean, obviously, we're not, uh, we're not going to be making any money on the, the um, interior, if you know what I mean. That thing is, is going to be a hard loss. So, we're 75000 in the hole plus all the money that we're going to be spending here. You guys can see we're, we're starting around 780. 
We'll keep that number in mind and we'll get a rough estimate of how much we've spent on the backyard. I feel like this is not really a lot when you first see it, but these wood wood chips, wood clippings may start adding up. I wish you could get closer around the edges. There should be like a select the area and then just like automatically lay it all. But unfortunately we just have to do it this way. It's kind of relaxing though. I, I enjoy it. So the last trip here, boys. My goodness, this took forever. Not actually not not too bad. It's it's definitely very satisfying when you finish up. All right, so that's our dirt. I mean, from a distance, it does it, it looks looks like dirt. We'll we'll take it. We've got a, another little piece right here. It says that it's it's 84 cents or negative 30 cents. Is that per per cube that we place? Or I'm I'm not sure how that works. We're already down to 777 thousand dollars. I was like. $2,200 worth of wood chips right there. Okay, now what do we want to go with? This is this is where it's going to get interesting. So I really like that sunflower, to be honest. Call me basic, but I, I feel like it looked pretty cool. So I think I'm going to start with a line of sunflowers. I, just, I feel like I would like to wake up and look at that in the morning. You know what I mean? So we're going to start with a line here. Oh, gosh. Oh, so we want to... Okay. We're going to try to keep them in a line. Why? Why do they get so much bigger? Did you guys notice how big they got? Bro, some are big and some are small. Okay. I'm just gonna walk backwards and click it. I mean, that's kind of cool that they, they change the direction, they change the size, etc, etc. Nice. We've got a nice row of sunflower. I actually, I feel like if we did like a, a, a kind of whatever you want to call it, like a, a border around the edge, kind of all facing out towards the sidewalk, that would be... That would be kind of cool. All right, so we've got our sunflowers. What do we want to go with next? I mean, we could sell those things, right? I'm going to go with some... Let's go with raspberries. We need something to compete with the height. I don't think it's quite going to compete with the height, but we're just going to go for it. Uh, actually, you know what? We're, we're going to need walkways. Hold on a second. Let me, let me sell this real quick. We're going to need walkways. So what we're going to put down is we are going to go to Oop Garden. We're going to want surfaces. They have some cool without a curb. I'm gonna go with gray. Oh, that's really, that's way skinnier than I thought it was gonna be. Not bad, I just don't wanna have to go through and put it down again. There we go, paving stones. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so we're gonna have this start this way. Not bad. And then we're gonna have it go like this. So we're gonna have it go all the way down. We're gonna have to re reshape it every time, but that's okay. And it actually, you know what? It it kind of it kind of turns the wrong way. <laughs> you guys see that? It's kind of not straight. It's kind of angled. But we're we're just gonna work with it. And we're done. Boom. All right. Look at that. We got a nice little walkway interrupted by a tree. Nothing we can do about that. But looks pretty good. Now we're gonna be able to put something else on this side of the walkway. So it's kind of like a nice little. You know what I mean? Hold on. Let's um. We're gonna buy some more of these, and we're just gonna send them. Let's send them this way. Okay, so we got a good walkway there. And then next up, like I said, I think we're going to go with raspberries. So let's go back to garden, plants, rasp, raspberry. All right, we're going to buy these. And we're just going to go down the line. Excuse my non-straight lines. We're just going to have to deal with it. You know what I mean? Sorry about that, boys. Going to turn to the left a little bit. Whoever laid these stones was was drunk. Okay, so we've got some raspberries there. Dude, this is actually gonna be kind of cool. Let me jump over my raspberry bushes. Should we do, We sh you know what, we, sh we should have done a group of them. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna buy some more here. We're gonna do a second row. Oh yeah. Now that is a straight line of raspberries. Until the end. You know, I'm a little bit worried about overcrowding. I, I, I'm not, I, I don't have much of a green thumb in real life, so I, I feel like this doesn't look natural to have this many bushes all in one spot, but it also looks cool, dude. I, I, I like the look so far. And if you take a look at what we got going on inside the house, the way it looks in here, you might think that these raspberries may be a different type of plant. But uh, anyway, that's our, our little row of raspberries. I like it. Now we're gonna go back. We are going to go to, um, 
back to our surfaces. We're gonna go down to that big thing we were using and we are gonna do another line. Voila, all right, all good to go there. Now we are gonna be picking out our next plant, our next crop, and I'm, I'm thinking pumpkins. I feel like the pumpkins looked pretty cool. So let's see pumpkins here. See how these are gonna lay out. Oh, these are these are big boys. Okay, so I guess I guess we can go like that, and we can just do a a roll of pumpkins all the way down. And voila, there we have it. I even set up a new walkway. Again, these trees are kind of getting in the way. I feel bad about that. But take a look at that. We've got sunflowers. We've got raspberries. We've got pumpkins. Dude, I feel like this is, is kind of coming together okay. It's not the, the perfect garden, but it's getting there. And then I'm gonna say, ooh, cherry, ooh, apple trees, gala apples, pear tree, small pear tree, plum tree. I just like things that add color. I think the, the trees are gonna be nice. Although I also feel, oh man, we're gonna have to go through and plant each one of these. That is rough, my friends but it's gonna be well worth it. That one's a little bit off center. I'm gonna try to keep these as, as centered as possible. Only 20 bucks for an apple tree, dude. I would I would buy the heck out of that in real life. Unlimited apples for 20 bucks, that's a steal, dude. Should be getting close to the end here. Now we gotta go through and plant this entire row, dude. We're gonna have to shovel three times, put the plant in, oh, four times, five times, insert the plant, put the soil around it, and then we're gonna have to water her down. But it's gonna be worth it. Look how beautiful that is. My goodness. Okay, so I went through, I dug all the holes all the way through, and now we've gotta go through, we've gotta plant and move the soil for all of them. And then we're gonna have to go through and we're gonna have to, oh shh, I can't even get around this. Then we're gonna have to go through and we're gonna have to water all these bad boys. So one, one step at a time, we'll, eventually get there. I feel like we're doing a pretty good job though. I feel like we could we could definitely live off the land. We should, oh dude, we should have done this at uh, one of the houses with the doomsday bunkers. Cause that could be like your, your source of food in the apocalypse, but um, all right, anyway. Catch up with you guys, we gotta water them. And now we just water away. Just one at a time, water, water, water. Looks good, looks good. It definitely goes quicker down at the base of the tree. Do you guys notice that? Like watch this. That was pretty fast. Oh, never mind. I take that back. It's about the same. I think you can get multiple at the same time, though. Well, no, sometimes... Sometimes up top feels longer. I don't know. I, I think you want to get the base of it. I believe that is all of them. I'm going to go back through, make sure none were missed. We're kind of getting some of the pumpkins in the background as well. But yeah, that, that looks good. All right. Well, um, the problem is, is we need to do one more walkway. I don't know. I guess we could do one small row of stuff here. I just, I feel like that's pretty solid. I feel like we aren't gonna get much better than that. Let's let's go back to one of these walkways here. We're gonna put walkways on, on both ends as the end caps. So we gotta look for one final thing to plant over here. I feel like trees won't really fit. Ooh, strawberries? Strawberry flower, it, that's not a strawberry. That's just, that's just a plant. Are there any other, like, I feel like crops have been kind of our, our thing so far. I, oh, we could do zucchini. How big is a zucchini? Oh, shoot. Well, we could at least get, we could get a, a few zucchini in. We aren't gonna be able to get a ton of zucchini, but we might be able to, to get some every, every once in a while. All right, that'll be good. I feel like that's a good final use of space here. Unfortunately, this last little section is just kind of awkward to be honest, but let's see if we can sneak one in here somewhere No, not gonna fit. All right ah, Who really likes zucchini all that much anyway? I don't mind dude. Those are some big freaking zucchini. Are you kidding me? But uh, boom there you guys have it. That's our little garden. I like it We've got some sunflowers just because I like sunflowers technically you can eat those too. eat those sunflower seeds Those are always good. We've got raspberries. We've got pumpkins We've got apples and we've got zucchini. Bit of a uh, an interesting mix here. I mean, we could have some sunflower seeds. I just eat raspberries straight. They're so good. Pumpkin pie, apple pie, zu zucchini pie. That that sounds gross. Anyway, I feel like I feel like that's good. Now I'm gonna go inside here, and we are going to go to the backyard. However, you get back here. 
Uh, I feel like we should make a little hangout patio area. I feel like, you know, obviously we have the crops here, but we want a place to be able to relax after a hard day's work out there in the sun. And I think our next house, we're gonna turn it into like a really cool, like, you know, hangout spot. We'll like make a little pool with like blue rocks and whatever else. But I feel like we should make a little patio area here. So I'm gonna look for some surfaces. There are just so many cool, cool options here. Chopped stepping stones. I'm gonna go with this and we're, we're gonna set this up. Hold on, give me a second. We're just, oh. I didn't know that's what this was gonna be. That's actually even better than I thought. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy these. We're gonna have them come out here. I like how they're various sizes and you don't really have control over it. Boom, so we're gonna set that up. And then I'm gonna go for surfaces. We're gonna go for two colored gravel. I'm gonna go for, for gravel here. And we're gonna set this up. Let's kind of do the... Oh, shoot. Just kind of do... Oh, look at that angle, boys! Oh my goodness, that was perfect. So we're gonna make this a little gravel area, and then we'll put down some stones and maybe some chairs and stuff, and like a little barbecue or something. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but... I'm just kind of messing around, practicing a little bit, just gonna see what this is all about. Come on, baby. There we go. I wish you could like butt all the way up against trees. It should just let you mark an area like one, two, three, four, and then throw all the stones in. I feel like making you personally lamb is a bit much, but hey, I guess that's a, a part of organizing your backyard, huh? All right, so we have all this. I don't know, there's, there's some really cool stuff, some cool like Zen Asian inspired options that you could do with like rock gardens and stuff, which is what I'm, I'm messing around with here. Let's see. What do we have for stones? Or what, what else could we do? Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool. Gonna see, ooh, yeah, that's kind of a cool option. Oh, I'm gonna buy this, okay. Watch this, we're gonna set these up and we're gonna space them out. Not much, but just a little bit. It actually ended up working out pretty well there too. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be cool. Boom, boom. I'm hoping it's gonna work out lengthwise as well. Not quite as perfect, but we'll we'll get by. I mean our our spacing could use a little a little work, but that's that's fine. Oh shoot, that tree's gonna be in the way anyway. Okay. Boom. Looks good. See, that's kind of cool. I like that. Alright, so let's see what else we have here. Should we do like a fence around it? Do we have ooh, narrow Rio fence. Oh, this is this is cool. So this could be like the dog area over here. We've got a dog door coming off of the garage. So this is where the dogs play. Pillar for the Rio fence. How do you, how do you connect that? Do I have to put it up to it like this? I, I don't, I don't understand how to connect it. Well, I mean, I wanted to put like a gate, a gate here. Yeah, that's, that's just not gonna work. All right, whatever. Get rid of the fence. The fence isn't working for me. This is what I'm talking about. We've got some outdoor furniture, some little umbrellas, benches, arm, ooh, little doto. I don't even know what that means. Some sun chairs, a lips couch, Japanese bench. I feel like that is what we're looking for here. So I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up, let's go even. I'm feeling the feng shui here. All right, I like that. Let's see what else we can throw out here. It's gonna be like a mix of American and Japanese. Oh, they've got like the traditional cast iron chairs. We can get some, some. oh, I, I like this couch. Red flowers on black. That's kind of Japanese, right? I like this couch. So I'm gonna set this up over here. Back out of that. Let's get this and set that bad boy up and that bad boy up. And then do a couple more this way as well. Not bad, all right, we could go with a little, I don't know if we're going for like, I mean obviously this is kind of an Asian theme now, that wasn't really originally what I was thinking. We need, ooh. That's kind of table-y. If we put one more on, that would work. One more, one more piece of the couch on. So I'm gonna put one more piece of the couch. And for some reason it's not gonna let us place it. There we go, boom. All right, not bad, I like it. Got a fun little table there, got some little benches. We definitely need a, uh, a grill over in this corner. Do we have a grill option? We've gotta have a grill, yeah. Uh, 
Vigil Grill. Get the big nice one. Set uh, that bad boy up here. Is there anything else we can have? I'm not really sure what's under like other. Plastic composter, tool house. Nothing really there. Architecture. See, this is where it could could get pretty pretty interesting. I feel like we definitely should have some options for like outdoor fireplaces and stuff. What does this look like? Could we run these along the edges? That kind of matches the red and black, right? So this is the entrance right there. So we're gonna leave that open. We can run these this way. It's kind of guarding the edge. All right, I like it. Have it come along the back side of the couch here. And bada bing, bada boo. I mean, honestly, with like no pre-preparation, no thought about it, I feel like that doesn't look bad. Everything goes together. Everything matches. It's all got the same vibe, the same color scheme and everything. That looks nice, dude. I'm gonna put a, uh, obviously, since we're, we're a farmer, I'm gonna put a little tool shed over here. A little dark wood tool shed. Oh my gosh, you have to build it. That is cool. All right. We're gonna assemble this bad boy. I have no idea what we're gonna have to do, but we're just gonna go for it. All right, we've got the, the sides going in. This isn't so bad. This is fairly easy. What are we, what are we going for here? What do you want me to click? Shoot. Oh, it's these, those, and then these. Put these screws in. Got a, a hard time believing there's only four screws. Put this on top. The roof goes on. Oh shoot, we're in. Oh no, oh no. We're in the, close enough, right? No, oh, it's, it's that thing. We gotta be able to click that thing. Where is it? We're in the freaking bushes, man. I don't think I can click it. I'm trying everywhere. Yeah, we aren't gonna be able to click it. All right, just, just pretend, pretend that worked out. Pretend, we're fine. We, we got it. Anyway, I, I feel like that's solid. I, I definitely, I like that a lot. I mean, I, the whole American farm thing mixed with the Asian backyard, like the, the modern contemporary backyard doesn't really match together. But like I said, I just kind of wanted to practice for the next house we do. And I, I think there's some really cool stuff that we can do. So unfortunately, I we aren't gonna be able to sell this thing. Um, shoot, I, I think we're just gonna have to throw some, some beds in some of these. I, I, it's it's not letting me sell it because it's it, we didn't really do anything to it technically we only did the outside that worries me that uh, we aren't we aren't gonna get all the money back that we spent on this thing I'm just I'm gonna throw some monk beds in so we're at 771 I guess technically we didn't spend that much money I'm gonna throw a bunk bed bunk bed bunk bunk bed that's a bedroom <laughs> this is a bedroom and you know what the garage can have a bunk bed too the garage is now a bedroom can we sell it no. Shoot. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna do something crazy here. It's uh it's not guaranteed to work, and I'm I'm worried that we're gonna end up losing our save, but there's nothing we can do. I mean the game auto saves. It's been saying it was saving the whole time. I'm gonna try going back to our office. Your progress will be automatically saved. That's exactly what we did last time, and it didn't save. But I'm gonna see if maybe if we reload it, if it'll let us sell it. I mean, in the past, even if you just cleaned up a place and then immediately sold it, you, you could sell it. Gonna go back to a house in a thicket. Dude, if this thing is broken, if this whole house is broken, it is. Are you freaking kidding me, man? We couldn't have sold this thing from the, the get-go anyway. Well, I guess we learned our lesson. That was a uh, that was a fun episode. My goodness, dude, that, that breaks my heart a little bit. I, I think in the next episode, we are gonna try out the next garden flipper house it's the last one that's available it's a two-story so it's going to be a lot of work we're going to put a lot of time into the the upstairs and the downstairs actually you know what we could do we can go in here and also notice i didn't get any of my money back we could go in here i'm going to try buying it we want to go to for purchase it's this one right here i'm going to see i'm going to like pre-plan like pre-look at it and see if we can sell it because we should be able to walk in here pick up a few things and then sell it and then we should be good but um that'll Oh yeah, see, we can. This one's actually gonna work, it's actually gonna save. Hold on a second. Let me pick up uh, pick up a little bit of, we're gonna like pick up all this off the windows and stuff. Dude, this is gonna be, what the heck? It's not even letting me get some of that. This is gonna be such a sick house to remodel. I'm, I'm a little bit worried with all the glitches and stuff. Like it's not even letting me pick up some of this stuff. We should be able to pick up all of this. We may have to go to an old house flipper house that that isn't one of the new maps because I feel like these are glitched out a little bit. But anyway, either way, let's um, 
Let's go back to the office, and then we'll come back and see if that saves. But then again, if we can't get rid of all the stuff on it, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I'll find the next house for us to be able to do. We're going to go crazy with it. If it doesn't work, I think there are some, some good ones in here. Uh, that aren't new. So if we go back to for purchase, you guys can see like we've got the pink house We could totally renovate. We've got uncle's bunker. We've got the old house with the bunker variable woman's house. We've got the the um, Walter White house and stuff like that. So we're gonna have stuff to do no matter what. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode I'm sorry. We couldn't sell it or submit it to the contest. We worked hard on it and uh the game's just a little buggy at the moment. So hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.